Hi guys, Dave out Western Pennsylvania. I'm a chemistry professor with the University in Western PA, USA. I'm in the lab today and uh, the local company, MSL Oil and Gas, here in Western Pennsylvania was kind enough to donate five gallons of drip gas, so-called drip gas, which is natural gasoline from one of their natural gas well heads. And uh, this natural gasoline with low octane number, I would imagine the research octane number would be 60, 65, but I wanted to distill it. I'm going to have my students do this in a fuels lab. So I'm doing a simple distillation here in the uh, fume hood. And I've got an ice bath, simple distillation. And I was curious uh, what range I'll get on this. Now, of course, there's uh, butanes, volatile butanes. But I started to get condensable distillate at about 40 degrees Celsius. And we're not at sea level. Water here boils uh, at our altitude at about 98 degrees Celsius. But I started to get distilled at about 40. I'm about 44 now, 45 degrees. So I want to get an idea of what I will uh, be getting. And with my students, then we'll take this natural gasoline and we will add octane boosters and then attempt to run small four-stroke engines and generators on uh, the natural gasoline formulation. Yeah, so it's coming over pretty good now, about 45 degrees. And that's what the drip gas looks like. It's uh, brownish. And uh, we'll be able to uh, see what we can do with this natural gasoline. And I'll try to boost it up with renewables derived from livalinic acid, esters from livalinic acid, turpentine distillate, which is mostly alpha pinene, and I'll probably put a little isooctane in, which of course has a standard research octane number of 100, and I'll have students work on uh, trying to get a viable fuel out of it for modern engines with high compression. And of course, uh, these small engines that I work with need uh, 87 octane. And uh, I'll formulate some secondary butyl alcohol in there as well, which is a renewable, can be made by fermentation. We're at uh, 46 degrees. So I'll give you an idea of what's involved. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.